Welcome back. Today we delve into the shadows to uncover the top 5 most terrifying real-life horror stories. These tales are not for the faint of heart, and viewer discretion, as always, is strongly advised. Number 5. The Mothman of Point Pleasant, West Virginia The Mothman is a legendary creature that was reportedly seen in the Point Pleasant area of West Virginia between November 15, 1966 and December 15, 1967. The first sighting was made by five people who claimed to see a large-winged creature with glowing red eyes near an abandoned World War II munitions plant. The Mothman is described as a humanoid creature around seven feet tall with large wings and glowing red eyes. Some witnesses reported it having no visible head or arms. Over a period of 13 months, there were over 100 reported sightings of the Mothman by locals and visitors in the Point Pleasant area. Many sightings occurred around the abandoned munitions plant and the area where the Silver Bridge collapsed in 1967, killing 46 people. Some believe the Mothman was an omen or harbinger of the Silver Bridge disaster. Others think it was a paranormal being from another dimension or a previously undiscovered cryptid species. Number 4. The Bell Witch The Bell Witch is one of the most famous and mysterious supernatural occurrences in American history. The legend centers around the Bell family, who lived in Adams, Tennessee, in the early 19th century. The haunting began in 1817 and continued until 1821, involving a series of unexplained and terrifying events. The haunting began with strange noises, such as knocking on walls and doors, and the sound of chains being dragged across the floor. The Bell family also reported hearing faint, whispering voices that were too weak to understand but sounded like an old woman singing hymns. The entity, which came to be known as the Bell Witch, began to physically attack members of the Bell family, particularly John Bell and his daughter Betsy. Betsy was pinched, slapped, and had her hair pulled by an invisible force. John Bell experienced episodes of swelling in his throat and felt like a stick was stuck sideways in his throat. The Bell Witch was said to be a shapeshifter, appearing in various forms such as a dog, bird, and rabbit. This ability to change shape added to the terror and mystery surrounding the entity. The haunting culminated in the mysterious death of John Bell in 1820. It is said that the Bell Witch claimed responsibility for his death, having poisoned him with a vial of black liquid. After his death, the witch's activity decreased significantly, although it did not cease entirely. Number 3 the Black-Eyed Children Imagine answering a knock at your door late at night, only to find children with pitch-black eyes staring back at you. These entities known as the Black-Eyed Children have been reported across the globe. Witnesses describe an overwhelming sense of dread and an inexplicable urge to let them inside. But those who do often regret it as these encounters are said to bring misfortune and terror. Black-eyed children, also known as black-eyed kids, are a contemporary urban legend in American folklore. These entities are described as paranormal creatures that resemble children between the ages of 6 and 16 with pale skin and completely black eyes. They are often reported to be seen hitchhiking, begging, or appearing on the doorsteps of residential homes, asking to be let inside. The legend of the black-eyed children is believed to have originated from a series of posts by Texas reporter Brian Bethel in 1996. Bethel recounted two alleged encounters with black-eyed children, one in Abilene, Texas, and another in Portland, Oregon. These stories quickly gained popularity and became classic examples of creepypasta, horror-related legends shared on the internet. The legend was further popularized through various media. In 2012, Bethel shared his story on the reality TV series Monsters and Mysteries in America and wrote a follow-up article for the Abilene Reporter News. The same year, a horror film titled Black Eyed Kids was produced with Kickstarter funding, which helped spread the legend further. In September 2014, the British tabloid Daily Star ran several front-page stories about alleged sightings of black-eyed children, particularly in connection with the sale of a supposedly haunted pub in Staffordshire. These sensationalistic reports claimed a shock rise in sightings around the world, which contributed to the legend's notoriety. Black-eyed children are typically described as having pale skin and completely black eyes devoid of scara or iris. 
They often appear in outdated or hooded clothing and exhibit odd speech patterns and behaviors that are unsettling and not typical of children. Number 2. The Infield Poltergeist In the late 1970s, the Hodgson family in Infield, London, experienced a series of terrifying events that would become known as the Infield Poltergeist. Furniture moved on its own, strange knocking sounds echoed through the house, and the children were levitated and thrown from their beds. Despite numerous investigations, the true cause of these disturbances remains a mystery, leaving many to believe that something truly sinister was at play. The Enfield Poltergeist is one of the most famous and controversial cases of alleged supernatural activity. It took place between 1977 and 1979 at 284 Green Street, a council house in Brimsdown, Enfield, London, England. The events primarily involved two sisters, Janet Hodgson, aged 11, and Margaret Hodgson, aged 13, and were reported by their mother, Peggy Hodgson. The first reported incident occurred in August 1977 when Peggy Hodgson called the Metropolitan Police, claiming that furniture was moving on its own and that her children had heard knocking sounds on the walls. A police constable who responded to the call reported seeing a chair wobble and slide, but could not determine the cause of the movement. Over the next 18 months, more than 30 people, including neighbors, paranormal investigators, and journalists, reported witnessing various phenomena. These included heavy furniture moving on its own, objects being thrown across rooms, disembodied voices, loud noises, and the children levitating several feet off the ground. The case attracted significant attention from paranormal investigators. Maurice Gross and Guy Lyon Playfair from the Society for Psychical Research were among the most prominent investigators who believed the haunting to be genuine. Number 1. The Dyatlov Pass Incident The Dyatlov Pass incident is one of the most enduring and mysterious tragedies in modern history. It involves the unexplained deaths of nine experienced hikers in the Ural Mountains of Russia in 1959. Here is a comprehensive overview based on the provided sources. In January 1959, Igor Dyatlov led a group of eight young Soviet hikers, mostly university students, on an expedition to reach Mount Otorton from the settlement of Vizai. The group consisted of seven men and two women. They were found dead under mysterious circumstances, about six miles from their destination, in a forest nearly a mile from their campsite. The hikers' bodies were discovered over a period of three months. They were found in various states of undress, without their skis, shoes, or coats, in temperatures around minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The tent was found torn open from the inside, and their belongings were left behind. Six hikers died of hypothermia, while three had fatal injuries, including fractured skulls and major chest fractures. One hiker was missing her tongue. Some bodies had burns, and there were signs that clothing had been exchanged among the group, possibly to help the living survive longer. One theory suggests that a delayed slab avalanche caused the hikers to flee their tent in panic. This type of avalanche can occur even in areas not typically prone to avalanches and could explain the severe injuries. Another theory posits that a powerful catabatic wind, which can reach near hurricane speeds, forced the hikers to abandon their tent. The wind could have caused the tent to collapse, leading to the injuries and the subsequent deaths from exposure. The Carmon Vortex Street Theory This theory involves severe winds creating a low-frequency sound that induced panic and psychological distress among the hikers, causing them to flee their tent. Some evidence points to a ballistic rocket launch which may have created a nitric acid fog that killed the hikers. This theory is supported by reports of fireballs in the sky and the presence of radioactive substances on some of the hikers' clothing. Yet another theory suggests that the hikers were accidentally killed during a secret missile test and that the Soviet military covered up the incident. This includes moving the tent and staging the scene to look like a natural disaster. These stories remind us that the world is full of mysteries and horrors that defy explanation. Whether you believe in the supernatural or not, one thing is certain. These tales will haunt your dreams. Until next time, stay safe and stay scared.